All right, guys, so in today's video, we have a 1940s toaster, this old ancient thing, and we are going to be comparing this 1940s toaster to this relatively new $300 touchscreen, nice, fancy toaster, and we are going to see how far the toasting technology has come from 1940 to now and see if it's got better, worse, if it's the same. We're going to figure all that out, so it should be a fun time. But before we do that, this video is sponsored by NordVPN. If you don't know what VPN stands for, it stands for Virtual Private Network. And what NordVPN does is they encrypt your data to keep your data safe. So let's say that you are connected to a public Wi-Fi like a McDonald's, a Starbucks, or a hotel. If you are connected to that network, and then a hacker is also connected to that same network, and you don't have a VPN, then that hacker can easily access your data. You, such as your credit card information, your social security number, your bank details, really any sensitive information that you don't want somebody to have, they can access. But if you have a VPN, all of your data will be encrypted so that whoever is on that network can't get access to it. So that's important that you keep your data safe. Number two, and this is one of the coolest parts of NordVPN, is that they have over 5,300 servers in over 59 different countries. So if you are in the US, and say you like watching Netflix, but you like watching shows that are from the UK. If you're in the US and you want to watch shows from the UK, without a VPN you can't do that because we don't have access to those shows. But if you have NordVPN, where they have so many servers in so many different countries, you can use NordVPN and set your location to any of the servers that they have throughout the world and then it, you can sign into Netflix through that and you can have access to different shows and movies and anything that's on Netflix from a different country. So you can really, I guess, broaden your internet experience. So NordVPN is an extremely useful tool that everybody should have. So if you're interested, you can click the link in the top of my description, use code TylerTube, and you will get a huge discount off of a two year plan, plus you will get one additional free month. So as a first test, I think it is only right that we just do a piece of bread because, I mean, after all, that's pretty much the most the, the most popular thing that you're going to put into a toaster. So let's do the $300 brand new toaster first. Go here. We'll push bread. We'll go on a level four. We'll let it toast. Three, two, one. All right. It's hot. <laughs> so... There's our piece of toast from our $300 toaster. You see both sides are very evenly brown and very toasty. So we'll let that cool off. So this toaster, this one works a little bit different. This one, it does not have any type of like dial or switch or anything. It just has the extension cord and that's it. You, there's no, like I said, there's no switches, no buttons, nothing. It has this cord that comes unplugged that is like detachable from here. And then you put the bread in there and then you plug it in when you want it to toast and whenever you're done, you unplug it. So let's put a piece of toast in there. Oh, that's weird. So it's just gonna sit there like that. How is this side going to get toasted if the heating element is only on this side? So it doesn't make any sense to me. Plug it in. Is it getting hot? Yeah, it's getting hot. I feel like, I feel like it's like smoke's going to start rolling out or something. How? I don't see how this is going to work. Let's go ahead and... Mm. That is a very, very nice piece of toast. I wonder how it's going to compare it to this one. Oh, see? This side is toasting, but this other side is completely, uh, this other side is completely, like, it's, it's even kind of, like, moist feeling. Toast one side, then flip it and toast the other side, and there is smoke coming off the top of it. Okay, that, that's roughly the same toastiness level. So I guess let's flip it around. Man, this thing, this thing is really smoking. I wonder what it's like, what it's burning off. So this one already, you gotta like, you gotta really work with this thing. You gotta baby it, you gotta check on it, you gotta do a lot of stuff. Whereas this, you just push the button and walk away. Okay. 
So unplug this. Pretty well there. This one's just slightly more toasted just because I left it in there a little bit longer. But the quality of the toast is, you know, virtually the exact same, honestly. You know? Mm, I was gonna say this one might be toasted a little bit more, or a little bit better, like it's more crunchy. But I think this one I left in there just a little bit more. Mm, as far as the quality of the toast, they're pretty much dead even. As far as just regular toast goes, I feel like this 1940, like 1940s toaster, I feel like it can still produce the exact same quality of toast as our brand new toaster. So far I'm impressed. Even though it takes a little more work, you know you gotta work with a little bit more. So far they seem to be pretty even. So let's move on to something uh, besides bread. Next up, we're gonna do bagels. Something that is a little bit thicker and something that is gonna take up both slots on the toaster. So just like last time, we will do this one first. I know it's still on the bread setting. That's because with this toaster, if you put it on the bagel setting for whatever reason, it burns them. But if you put it on the bread setting, it does just fine. So I don't really know how to explain that. Three, two, one. Give me the bagels. It's hot. All right, let's move on to the old one. That thing is still hot, like really hot. Jeez, I bet uh, I bet way back in the day, I bet these things were a fire hazard because of how hot they get. <laughs> Put that in there. And we'll just plug it in. I don't know, I, I went to look at this side thinking that it had like some type of screen or something on it to see if it was done. Oh, we opened that just in time. Let's flip these over. Oh. It's kind of crazy to me, like, how effective this old toaster still is, and, like, how well it still works. Oh, are we done? Ow! <laughs> that's hot! Yeah, I think that's done. I think, I think those are the same, same level of toastiness. It's still hot, that's for sure. Let's try this one. Okay, typical bagel type of crunch that you would expect. Nothing fancy. This one's gonna be a little bit hotter. Oh, hot. Oh, oh, way too hot. Mmm, I should have waited till that cooled down. The toast that comes out of this thing is way hotter than the toast that comes out of this thing. This is almost like an oven. Okay, it's still, it's still pretty hot, but it seems to be cooled down pretty good. Mmm, once again, these two things, virtually identical. The toast quality is exactly the same. They, you know, they're toasted the same degree. They taste the same, look the same. Yeah, the toasting quality of these two toasters so far is completely dead on. So now let's move on to something just a little bit more tasty. Something like a, uh, a s'mores Pop-Tart. Come on, I'll let that go. Oh, I don't wanna. I don't want this thing to burn me. You know, we'll just leave, we'll just leave that there because I know, I know that that is gonna burn me. This in here. Oh, all right, we're getting hot. You know, I bet that uh, Pop-Tarts probably weren't even invented whenever this toaster was first invented. We're putting uh, new age stuff into an old age toaster. All right. Ooh, I can smell it. Are we done? What's going on here? Oh. Oh man, we overdid it. I did not expect that to, to cook that fast. All right, so let's take this one. Oh, actually, they don't look that, uh, they don't look that off from each other. Let's try this one first. <laughs> it's still hot. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let these cool down. That's what I'm gonna do. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set these to the side. While those cool down, what we can do, we can go ahead and start our next item, which is gonna be toaster strudels. Hopefully, you know what toaster strudels are, because if you don't, you are extremely missing out. So, we're gonna make four of them. Put two in there. We're gonna go to a level five. All right, those are done. Actually, I'm not, I'm not gonna touch those. I'm not gonna burn myself again. These in here, 
And I'm gonna have to keep a closer eye on these because I guess once this toaster has gotten, oh yeah, it's it's pretty hot. So the stuff is gonna start cooking a little bit faster. Come on. Ooh, these are getting toasty on one side. Let's flip them over. I was starting to smell that strawberry smell like really strong. Let's just flip those around. Okay. Okay, those are done. So let's unplug that. Now I'm going to show you, not only are we going to be testing the effectiveness of these toasters on these things, but I'm also going to show you how to properly make toaster strudels. So we're going to take one from each, and then you're going to take your icing packets, rip the top off of your icing packets, and then go ahead and put all the icing onto your toaster strudels. We'll just make a mess and we'll just make do with what we got. And then you take your other one and you put it on top like a sandwich. And everybody who eats toaster strudels knows this is how you do it. And we'll take this one, we'll put that on top. All right, and now we're gonna set these to the side and let these cool. Now we're gonna come back to our Pop Tarts. Uh, this one is the, came out of this toaster. So now let's go ahead, let's try this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Try this other one. If I was blindfolded or something, I literally would not be able to tell, be able to tell the difference between these two. Just like the uh, bread and the bagel, they taste identical. Toasted evenly, and they taste exactly the same. So, I'm impressed. All right, now <laughs> let's move back on to our toaster strudels. This is gonna be a mess. Very, very good, very good. Now let's try them out of this toaster. Hmm, I don't know how this is possible or why. This one has significantly more strawberry flavor than this one. Like this one tastes like really kind of like a really bland strawberry type of flavor, but this strawberry flavor like almost like punches you in the mouth. Like it's like probably five to six times stronger than this, which is very odd. Like I said, it like punches you in the mouth. And these came out of the same box. I don't think I can say that it has to do with the toaster because the strawberry flavoring should be, you know, the same. The only thing that should change is like the toast toastiness level or whatever. As far as like the, you know, the, to the toast quality and the toastiness, these are the exact same. They have the same type of crunch, they're both at, they're like, the temperature's the same. Like, everything is basically the exact same. A 1940s toaster will toast just as good as a brand new $300 touchscreen top of the line toaster. I guess the, <laughs> I guess since over the last 80 years, I guess the toasting technology hasn't really increased that much. The only thing that's really changed is that this is just much easier to use. You just push the button and walk away. Whereas this, you kind of have to, you know, keep back, come back and babysit it. And, you know, you really have to like watch what you're doing and know how to operate this thing. But as far as the quality of product that they produce, it's literally the exact same. They both toast everything evenly. Everything tastes the same. If you were tasting each one of them, you would never notice a difference. That's actually kind of crazy. I figured that over the last 80 years, that they're like, maybe this would be like extremely inconsistent and this would be way more consistent. And like, I just figured that this all around would be better. I figured it would be the toaster, the toastiness would be better. It would be even, and it would obviously it'd be easier to use. That's not the case. This is just easier to use. But like I said, the quality of the product that they produce, exactly the same. I'm kind of mind blown. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one.